I'm deliberately being very informal tonight because that's what our community is about. Our community is a community of practice. This is a very new area for all of us and uh, we started the community because we wanted to uh, create a space for people to be able to talk about these issues and uh, work through them together because in most cases uh, we're one of a communications team or one of an IT team who have to try and make a business case for Web2 and Gov2 in our organisations. Um, and I call us the lone soldiers, so I felt like there was a need for us to be able to share learnings and uh, talk about our experiences in our organisation and uh, be able to put forward business cases so that we could actually get the idea, this concept of Gov2 um, actually implemented within government in Queensland. So that's, that's why we started. Why we're here today, we're here because, um, well, we had a few significant crisis situations in Queensland. Um, which have had some really serious repercussions for our state and also a lot of people in our state. Um, but, dare I say it, it's actually been advantageous for the Government 2.0 cause. Um, there's a lot of pressure now on a lot of communications teams to actually move down the road of using Web2. Um, there were some huge successes with Queensland Police, Brisbane City Council, Ergon Energy in the way that they communicated online during those situations. and. Um, I think they've actually been uh, very influential in driving the Government 2.0 agenda and the idea of using online communications to communicate, coordinate and organise community. And I think um, Kat Williams will speak to that for a bit today as well. Um, so we want to learn from them, we want to learn from their experiences and we want to be able to take those learnings back to our organisations and see what they actually mean for this idea of Government 2.0 and the way we implement it in our own organisations. So I think that's why everyone's here, am, am I right? Okay, good, good. Um, when I say informal, I mean please get up and walk around whenever you feel like at this tea and coffee, this bathroom, is um, just over here. Um, and I want you to participate. This is actually a workshop. It's not gonna be just me speaking, I'm gonna shut up pretty soon and ask these guys to speak. Um, and I'd like you to participate as well in your tables because we actually wanna learn from you guys as well. Um, hmm. So, Manitis Roberts are our sponsors tonight, and so is Objective Corporation. Uh, we consider ourselves to be strategic advisors in this space, and Objective are actually a software company who provide our stakeholder engagement software, and they do online engagement as well through that tool. Um, feel free to come and talk to Sarah Wilson, who's our communications lead at Manitis Roberts, also David E. from Objective. Um, there's quite a few people from those organisations in this room, so please, if you are interested in learning more about us, come and have a chat. Okay, who have we got here? <laughs> James Klimt from QPS Media on the end. We've got Judith Hawkes from Ergon Energy, Maria O'Brien also from Ergon Energy, Kat Williams from Volunteer Queensland, Graham, Graham stepped in very kindly for Adam Pethenberry. <laughs> Thank you. These guys developed um, Queensland Floods, so sorry. Flood Aid, I'm getting confused. Flood Aid, uh, and then Tim down the end there, he developed Queensland Flood, so that's Tim Williams, and he's from IT Integrity. I got that right, didn't I, Tim? Tim Miller, Tim Miller. my apologies. A little bit nervous. <laughs> Sorry, Graham Kaplan is from Union Lane and Think Fresh. They're the two organisations that actually developed uh, Flood Aid in the first instance. And you'll probably also see that they've developed Quake Aid for New Zealand. So there are panel members. Um, our session today is going to involve the first panel, these guys, actually talking about their experiences. Then we're going to have some group work at each of our tables. And uh, we're going to workshop the different stages of crisis uh, situations, which is prepare, preparation for a crisis, which I think most of us want to take away from today. Um, responding to a crisis, so actually communicating online during a crisis situation. And that's what this panel is actually going to talk about now. Recovery, which is um, the phase that we're really in here in Queensland right now, which is recovering to a crisis situation and figuring out how we actually communicate online during this phase. I think Kat Williams will add quite a bit to that discussion. Um, and then business as usual. How do we take away what we've, we've learned from these experiences and actually apply it in our organisations? So you'll see at each of your tables a Government 2.0 facilitator uh, and some ruled up paper which is, it has internal, external and across uh, ruled up onto it. What we, what we want you guys to talk about when you're in your group discussions, 
is actually <laughs> how to communicate online in, in those phases, uh, internally, externally, and across. And what I mean by across is actually across agency, because um, I think there's a lot to be learned from the way that we communicated during the floods and, and sharing of information online. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> Have you got your, you got your microphones? <laughs> okay, so what I am going to do first is actually just get you to introduce yourself and talk about what you did do during the crisis.